morning, Tatsters. How are we all doing? Tuesday morning. Sun's out again. That wind is blooming cold, though, I tell you. But at least the sun's out, no clouds. And yeah, welcome to today's daily dose of morning readies. Yeah, one stop shop, one stop place. Still working on this bit. Place for all reselling, online businesses, tips and guides how to sell, buy, thrift, all that stuff to make money online. So welcome to today's show. We have a jam-packed day. I've got a full schedule going and we have a special guest. We've got Peter Ray's Adventures. He's in the background. He'll be joining me a bit later on, about quarter two. So if you are watching right now, as you know, there's a live chat on YouTube, also on Facebook. Good morning, Facebook. Uh, if you want to ask Peter anything, uh, questions in capital, and I'll scroll back later on. And once I'm done with my brief questions, we'll... Uh, come on to your questions. So yeah, ask them for Peter. I'll come back to that. Today, I actually learned this this morning, is International Nurses Day. And as we know, every Wednesday, we give the NHS a clap. Is it Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday, sorry. But yeah, apparently it's International Nurses Day. So if you've got a nurse in their family, maybe give them a little message uh, just to show your appreciation. I think off the top of my head, we've got two nurses. I've got an aunt and a cousin who's a nurse doing their bit and the paramedic i've got two paramedics actually cousin and an uncle quite a nhs heavy family come to think about it so there's that one um special guest so i don't know if you can hear but new microphone i have to show this off here we go Ooh. that's right we've got the rode nt usb if you know your microphones you know this is a good one it should sound a lot better so i need to not shout <laughs> so uh because it, it picks up every sound <laughs> i won't do that but yeah new microphone tested it out it's really good i also got a green screen actually yesterday but i quite like this background for now so i might use the green screen at the unit or in future videos uh yeah a lot to go through i've got to say a thanks to a a merch sale uh, someone bought a mug uh, i think it was ashley off the top of my head, Ash, so thanks for that. She bought a, a black one, same as my mug. I haven't got my black mug today. So thanks for that. And also, yeah, links in the description. Um, I've got a bit of merch news, actually. I'll show you in a minute. But if you do go down to Spreadshirt, if you do want to purchase anything to help support me in the channel, uh, I've got a few discount codes. These are one-time codes. You get 20% off. They're one-time use, so if you did want to, be quick. There's the first one. And there's the other two. There you go. And then linked with that, um, I've been thinking about this for a few weeks now, probably a couple of months thinking about it. And then Nick Hills went on a chat with Edward, who's Antiques Arena, and he was talking about it, how he's setting up his own website, which comes to on, on the which comes onto my first thing, which is Amy has started my own website. This this is it, it for now. Um, obviously she's working on her own website so she's very busy but yeah it's in the pipeline George Ross Retro reselling I don't want to keep relying on eBay and on Amazon uh, obviously there's things like the merch um, obviously it's through Spreadshirt it costs a little bit more obviously they print it I think it comes from Germany um, so postage is a little bit more but yeah if I've got my own website I can have my own rules so, for example, you can't sell Rosetta Stone language courses, which seems odd to me. But on my own website, Drive Traffic there, I can sell what I want, really, within legalities. Uh, also, with the merch, I've been getting a few um, tester things, like badges. It's not just my name plastered on everything. It's different designs, which I might as well quickly show now before we get on to some news. Um, there we go. Yeah, I'm wearing a new bit of merch that came yesterday. The next design, reselling in progress with a little pineapple. I think this is, what's this called? The baseball top on the muscle top. It's got a certain name, but yeah, it's a good fit. Medium, nice neck, fit around the arm nice. And then also Amy ordered one of these for herself. The tote bag with the same design. Reselling in progress. <laughs> so this sort of thing, um, if I get my website up and running, which I do want to do, I've been putting it off. And yeah, she's pushed me. Obviously, can't keep putting these things off. Uh, Got to do them, see if they work or not. Uh, so this sort of thing might sort of get made instead of made to order. So obviously, bring the costs down for everyone, make them as good as possible. Because 
people have been buying like really generously off my eBay store, uh, like them Puma t-shirts sold out within a few days. So yeah, I want to make them cheap and cheerful uh, and also sell other bits as well. So yeah, uh, I think that's everything. New microphone, merch website, lots of designs. Let's move on with today's show because yeah, we've got Peter coming on soon. And first of all, we're going to start with sale of the day. It was a bit quieter yesterday. I had one sale that was on Amazon. A couple uh, or one more came in or two more on eBay. So there wasn't much to choose from. But today's is not that page, this page. Nice uh, $55.99 sale for this vintage uh, motorcycle leather jacket. Yeah, $55 plus £6 postage, a little bit more. They're very big and heavy. Uh, it probably won't cost me that much, to be honest, unless I send it with Royal Mail, but it'll probably go with Hermes. Uh, this owes me, actually, I had to pay up a little bit, uh, £20, I think, and it's been lingering for a little while. I um, can't see when I did list this one, but I'm pretty sure it was back in the winter, early winter, when sort of, obviously, boot sales are closed, charity shops are closed. Um, so, yeah, I've paid up a little bit, but I've got, um, yeah, 55 99 minus fees. I've made sort of £30. Uh, not fragile, so it should be nice and easy to post. And obviously there's the merch there as well. Uh, someone bought a mug. It's a good stuff. And I did forget Peter Ray. There we go. Got the banner. Questions in for Peter Ray. And of course, along with the live chats, this isn't just about the live chats. I like to design these shows for people watching later on. I know people work late or get up late. Um, yeah, we've got hashtag on Instagram, morning readies. Put it in. I share like, my sales. Obviously, I like to share on there. People share on there. Um, all different things, so I thought I'd quickly dip in now. You can also put it as a story. I've done one in bed this morning. I don't know if it'll play again, because last time I've done this, it didn't work. And there you go, it's not working again. Maybe if I go on to here. Here we go. Morning prep for this morning's readies in bed. There you go. It's a nice little um, story there. If I go back now, because there's a couple of good ones, and someone tricked me. I got pranked, bro. <laughs> um here we go we had someone uh vintage vintage any world any world i can't say that sorry <laughs> wholesale stock keeping me going uh during these times it's been hard to find stock but wholesale clothing is working good gotta keep hustling that's a good lot of clothing um i've noticed actually there was another post with the hashtag uh people were sending ah uh, this one this one from Naydub1, uh, Sunday eBay close sales, still going strong. 10 ready to go, six awaiting payment. So uh, obviously this time, maybe last month in April, clothing has basically died off for me personally. Obviously I don't do a lot. I do men's clothing in a small way. Um, but now obviously after the announcement Sunday, going into Wednesday, we can go out, unlimited exercise. We can go to places like beaches, public parks, so people might start buying their clothes again buying clothes again <laughs> so yeah um i still got a lot of clothing thinking about it i've got football shirts jeans don't know if, i don't know like wind's a bit chilly so jeans might still go so it'll be interesting for me i'll keep an eye on, on the clothing yeah, nice lot of sales there i'll show you the prank someone pranked me good like a kipper penguin kevin <laughs> unlucky george morning readies nice little negative on my account for the public um, public enemy Puma t-shirt. I guess he bought one. So thanks for the sale, Penguin Kevin, if it was you. Item arrived in poor condition, disappointing. So I panicked, I went straight to my eBay account. Yeah, he pranked me, no negatives. So yeah, got me like a kipper there. Nice one. <laughs> I right, uh, do one more, obviously I showed this at the start of the show. I was bored last night watching Boris Johnson. So I made my own little one. Yeah, the message is clear from my angle. You buy, you sell, you repeat. Clear message here from George Ross. And this was one more. I just remember this one. Amazon, if you do sell, Amazon, send up your stock. Oops. Um, obviously, they're quite particular in sizes. You can't send them too big of a box. You're not actually allowed the shrink wrap either to send up. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what's this? Arc... Arco and Sons, they got sent back a couple of items from FBA, and this is what Amazon sent them, a huge box with pallet wrap, 
and in this box was two things. <laughs> what was that? It looks like a um, a meter level, and what's that one? It looks like a microphone. But yeah, two things. Amazon have gone against what they say. No padded wrap, and a huge box with two things in. So like a bit of funny common sense there. So yeah, keep your hashtags coming in. I was going to show quickly because um, people want to join in and they're not sure how to do it. They're sort of new to Instagram because of this show. Um, basically, obviously, open up your, what's it? Just do a post, do a picture. Next. Next. And then when it comes to the writing bit, so your caption, all you literally have to do, find the hashtag button, put a hashtag, and then start typing in morning readies back here, and it should pop up. Come on camera, focus. There we go, morning readies. Let you click on it, then share, and it goes straight into the morning readies hashtag, and I'll be able to see and hopefully share it on the screen. So I just wanted to do that. Uh, and uh, topic of the day, just a brief, quick uh, tips and tricks today, and then we'll get on uh, to Peter. Just waiting patiently in the background there. <laughs> yeah, um, putting a sale on. So obviously, if things are starting to slow down, sales have been good. I've noticed this week it's a bit quieter. And obviously, if you've got long sort of haul stuff that's lingering around, you might want to put a sale on. I was just going to quickly uh, walk you through that if you was unsure. So again, we've come onto the business seller page, uh, seller hub on eBay. I think it's different on if you're a private seller. If you are buying to resale, it should be business, as you may or may not know. So we want to go to marketing, promotions, and it will take us onto the promotions page. Uh, you can either come down here, mark down sale, or up here. You can do different ones, order discount. So you could say things like, if you spend fifty pound, you save five percent, uh, for example. And then we've got a coders voucher. I've done this a little while ago. I've done twenty percent off uh, with a certain code. Multi buy, buy free, get buy free, get one free. Uh, yeah, but this is a basic markdown sale for me. So click on that. Comes to this screen. <clears throat> Obviously, choose your percentage or the amount. I find percentages work a lot easier. If it's slow moving, I tend to do sort of between 10 and 20. We'll go in the middle at 15. Add another discount level if you really wish, but I'll just do all in one thing. Next, it's nice and easy, but I thought I'd walk you through it and it walk you through it anyway. Select your items, and now here, yeah, it's where you select what you want to be on sale. And for things to be on sale, I believe has to be on eBay at one price, not touch the price, not touch the postage or anything for off the top of my head again, at least 14 working days, it might be 30 days. So obviously if stuff's lingering, it's gonna be on there for longer, untouched anyway. So it doesn't matter, eBay does include it or uninclude it automatically, so you don't really have to worry about that anyway. And yeah, then here you can choose different prices, you can search by item title, or you can custom, like if you do custom SKUs, like labels, like, uh, categories as well, shop categories that I have different categories, obviously. Coats and jackets, you could tick that box, so you exclude watches, that sell well. But for now, uh, I'll stick to coats and jackets because obviously it's coming out of season. I'll do that for now. Uh, I don't mind what the price is or what title. And here you can select or unselect which ones you want. But I like to just uh, do the box up here. Tick them all, confirm. Next page. Again, just to review it. Just make sure you're okay. Save and review, and then it comes on to how long you want it on for. And you're only allowed a certain amount of time, but again, eBay tells you automatically. So here, I wanna start it. I'll start it now. You can start any time. I go on for, uh, yeah, do a couple of weeks. I'll do it like midnight of that day. Uh, yeah, just scroll down. You can call your sale, whatever you want. I'll just call it that. It doesn't really matter. Choose what pictures you want and then launch. It won't be instant. It might take a minute or so, but yeah, that is literally all you have to do. And then down here, you've got your grass, how your sales get on. And here's a list of all my sales here. 
So you go at a half price clearance and sticky stock, 15%. Yeah, there we go. This one here, save 10%. There's 207 items and I got £216 worth of sales from that um, promotion. And now it's Peter time. So yeah, put that into good use. So let's get him on, shall we? Let's not have him lingering around. Ladies are waiting, gentlemen waiting. It's 2020. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Ray, welcome. Hello. Peter. How are you, mate? Yeah, not bad. You, I'm good. Nice and awake. Yeah, yeah. Now I am. Fresh and rosy. Oh yeah, got a cheers. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. So obviously, haven't got long. So let's crack straight into it. Right obviously, up. You've been in the reselling community how many years? Three, four, oh, five years? Yeah, about that. Yeah, since um, beginning of sixteen. So yeah, same as me. And then yeah. how long have you been doing YouTube for? Uh, since May 17. So over three years. Yeah, so yeah. you're right. So you started watching. Did you find Nick, I guess, first before Yeah, I found Nick first, yeah. Um back in summer of sixteen. When I was working, I just thought I'd put him in type because I was doing eBay and typing in yeah. on, on Google and Nick's videos came up. And from there I've started. Yeah, we all blame Nick, as we all do. <laughs> <laughs> was you doing yeah. youtube before um you found like nick for example the reselling community had you done uh, it uh, well, I, I wasn't doing youtube before no i was um yeah. just watching but and then I, I sort of got inspired i had a few videos up on my channel like concert videos but apart from that and then i started the reselling because i think i did a uh, a few lives and videos and stuff and then it just yeah. built up from there yeah uh, yeah, you've got a nice mix on your YouTube channel. We'll get on yeah. to your actual channel a bit later on. Got it. But I thought a nice subject. Obviously, you've been open about it. You have, uh, is it Asperger's syndrome? I do indeed, yeah. Which is a type of autism, if people aren't aware. I have My brother has the exact same thing, so I've grown up with it. I know mm -hmm. like the traits and benefits of it. So I wanted to sort of link how that affects your reselling or how your reselling affects your Asperger's. So obviously one of the sort of difficulties might be sort of public speaking talking to people but i guess is that reselling has helped you improve that has it in some way yeah pretty much yeah it's one of those is like the social interaction and the non-verbal communication so like when you're especially with the reselling like when you go to boot sales jumbo sales uh a charity shop especially when you when you go to um uh, car boots and you have to sort of chat to people or um yeah you have to do a bit of bargaining i found in early quite hard with social interaction but i've mm. sort of like over the years learned to be able to um interact a lot more uh, especially having a, a a youtube channel and that's gave them give me confidence to um after my re reselling game, go to more car boots. Uh, e even beginning of this year, go further to more jumbles yeah. because I didn't really um, go to that many jumbles. I think when it went to last year, I went to about three or four. This year, I've been to eight uh, jumble okay. sales from January to March and chat chatting to more people. I, it's just chatting to people I don't know. I, I need to, I, I've been trying to work, work it more because I never know what. To say to people what they would say yeah. but so before reselling and i think yeah. your natural instinct is you've got your safety zone mm -hmm. maybe like yeah safety zone, net, yeah and getting away from that is very hard so pretty much yeah it's for my brother he he knows the safe zone and to yeah, do anything zone, yeah. a massive like challenge so yeah yeah it's pretty much a safe yeah. zone and then you just um it's 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 the same what you do per day it's sort of the same thing so if anything changes or anything new comes along it's really hard to compute it yeah yeah and then the benefit of having um asperger's especially is um you have above average sort of intelligence and sort of focus so again with my brother anything about trains planes travel yeah like a photographic memory and obviously yeah, there's been much, great yeah. guys like andy walhol uh mm -hmm. albert einstein yeah would you say your asperger's has helped focus with reselling or other things in your life uh, a bit of both, really. Re yeah. Reselling and um, other things in life. Um, obviously, like um, I like to talk about a lot of it interests, and that's one trait of the Asperger's. That's why I like with 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 the re reselling, uh, especially as you you know 
with going to different meetups and, and, yet, and then you talk to people who are um, like really interested into it and then you can have a deep conversation. But a, a lot of people, as we all know, have friends where they are only interested in a certain thing, not the reselling side or certain things. Yeah. So I, I always um, have different interests and really need to, at times, talk about them or whatever they may be. Yeah. So you've made a, oh, I have as well, made a load of new yeah. friends as well, obviously at the meetup. Yeah. We, uh, was that the first one in Hitchin and then last year? obviously the Yeah, because yeah, I went Boston. to Bristol as well. I've been to three. Yeah, um, yeah I think even me uh, from school, I probably keep in contact with two people. Yeah, so I know. Or reset and that'd be a bit Billy uh, no mates. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, um, questions in the chat. I was trying to find some as she was going through that. Got Retro Space Trader. Uh, what is an item you have sold that you wish you had kept and why? And obviously, Peter, if you, people don't know, you like your gaming, video gaming. Gaming, right? yeah. I'm a big yeah, gamer, sort of gaming yeah. collector. So I find it very hard sometimes if I get, find a good game or a good console to part with it. I sort of um, work out now because obviously it's space, but it's. Um, I'm just, just trying to think. I Back in the early days, back in like 17, beginning of 17 and stuff, I used to pick up consoles all the time. And I had like different modded um, modded consoles. Like um, I think I had a modded PS2 and a PS1, a, a really fancy edition. And um, back then I sold them on and I wish I had kept them. But it's, it's a fine line between do you keep it and hoard it or, or, or do you make some money on it when the time comes? Yeah? Yep. Then we've got Luke the reseller. Question for Peter. What's your favourite part of reselling? Oh, my favourite part of reselling is sourcing. It gets me out of the house, gets me to interact with a lot of people, and I can find some really nice items. Yeah? What's your dis um, uh, least favourite? Least favourite? Oh, um... Oof. Photographing, photographing clothing. Yeah. How oh. you with um, like wrapping orders? That's one of my least favourites. Yeah, right? I don't mind right, wrapping orders. Yeah. Quite satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and that sort of thing, wrapping orders. I have to sort of be focused in the zone with Asperger's. It's really hard to co compute more more than a certain few orders at, at a time. So I have to do one at a time. It, it does take a little bit longer, but it, it gets it done and ma making no mistakes. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Right, just there's loads of chat, so thanks everyone for joining in. Um, I just I noticed this one. Am I giving advice on autism? No, I'm not giving advice. Making uh -huh. people aware. <laughs> it's a spectrum. Everyone is different. Yep. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, autism is quite a broad thing, but this mm -hmm. is like Asperger's, so it's a type of autism. Yeah, everyone's different in different ways, but there's certain mm -hmm. traits of Asperger's, as I think Peter does agree. Yep, I do indeed been discussing yeah not giving advice just making people aware and if you have got something holding you back peter mm -hmm. is proof you can smash through it and yeah better yourself which is awesome um joe andrews uh when everything is back to normal where is the first place you'll be going to source stock uh the first place that will probably be open is my local charity shops because i've got a fair amount of charity shops where i can get um some good I'm um, stock even the, the clothing stuff but yeah um probably the uh charity shops first off well, once we're back to normal yeah yeah are you hopeful for sort of june july for charity shops yeah if we de decrease the rate then yeah i'm hopeful yeah it's, they said non-essential business or retail yeah. june yeah. at the earliest june, yeah. if we're all on track um yeah at the moment i'm sourcing online so trying to do a bit of that facebook yeah. and all, all the rest yeah that's my task today actually um <laughs> Fair I've enough. Got some good hauls but they've i've soon run out um yeah. so yeah i'm on online arbitrage today and things Ooh. like that um so yeah uh, thanks for all the questions everyone if i obviously peter has his own channel like i've yep. said if we get onto that now peter raise adventures and like i hey. said you're not limited to reselling are you um, no i do everything on there yeah reselling okay. i do outside blogs gaming a, a lot of things also a bit of advice i saw here how to remove copyright claims yeah yeah i do that yeah important 
especially and, there, yes. and uh, then so obviously have your... lovely guests on as well yeah what's your favorite type of video to do i know you like you go on your days out um... yeah oh my favorite type of video to to do is when i go for days out um different different vlogs at the moment i can't really do that i i i, yes. I have done a couple locally um to me obviously doing the social distancing and stuff but yeah. but that's my my favorite that's not you is it no. <laughs> let's get that there we go like here trip to epson yeah epson after common yep seeing the ducks yeah <laughs> my favorite animal duck yeah <laughs> so if you like not just reselling want a bit of a break from reselling check out peter's yep. channel does a bit of everything obviously me i try to stick to reselling if i can yeah. i do a bit of family vlogs and that um so yeah there you go uh but obviously like i said yeah a lot of people as i say like to see my local area because because a lot of people have moved away or can't get yeah. back to my area areas so they like to see that what's this a bit of a haul here uh what yeah a little bit of a haul I picked up from spock and stuff i, I sourced at home yeah have you got much of a backlog or um i had about 40 45 items i've been sourcing a lot more so i've probably got about 30 odd left yeah uh, and stuff to come cool. from what i've sourced online so definitely sort of mm. expanding your yep, mindset bag, yep. how to source items yeah. Uh, yeah i need to do that more like there's um apps like vinted obviously yeah. spot like you said gumtree yeah. i think still exists i don't think many people use it so yeah um go ahead go subscribe to peter sorry that way <laughs> i'm sure he'll welcome you on board are you going live you got any videos coming out this week uh yes i've got a video coming out today um later on uh what i got up to last monday um just like a daily thing what i got up to and then Wednesday night, I'm going live at half past eight in the evening for my usual yeah. Wednesday night live. There you go. You've got one new sub here from yeah, Gary. Gary. Thanks so much. And tap out the yeah, links in the description. Yeah. Thanks, Derek. Derek. Just go down below this video, expand it, Peter's channel. Mm -hmm. I'll put the link in. Yeah, appreciate it. So, yeah, thanks, Peter. Um, we're sort of coming to the end. So, we'll get on to the quote of the day. I'm sure you like this one. I like this one. Good things come to those who wait. We'll cross that out. Good things come to those who work their asses off. I never right, give up. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, again, maybe put this one out. I liked this one. So obviously, you could you can wait, but if you want to, for example, start YouTube like me and Peter did, mm -hmm. sort of wait around, wait around. No, you got to put a graft in. Obviously, there's a lot of planning that goes into just these shows, videos yep. to make them look good, even reselling. Things aren't gonna fall in my lap. We've got a source, research, mm -hmm. picture. Yeah, work hard and don't give up. If you fail the first time, keep trying and keep trying. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's the end of the show. Um, uh, done a quote of the day. Today's task, I'm at my unit. I wasn't there yesterday, Amy was. So picking orders, I've got quite a few items. So I might do a video, got to edit that. Um, yeah. What are you up to today, Peter? Uh, doing a bit of sourcing, listing, editing videos, just the normal every. Do you enjoy editing? Every day. What's that? Do you like editing videos? Uh, yeah, I don't mind actually. Uh, it, it, it stems from again from Jasper's. Like I, 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 I sort of like to improve myself, and um, from obviously when I started until now, it's a lot di different. I, I'm always tweaking it. Every video I do is something different in it i try and make all, every, every video different from the last one yeah that's what i was trying to do i was yeah. thinking about not doing a picking video this week because mm -hmm. i want to try it i'm doing the shows yeah. which is different but yeah like my favorite ones are the boot sales or the charity oh, shop right videos. yeah yeah obviously that's off the cards and i need to try and do a different mm -hmm. videos but yeah people do enjoy the picking videos um i sort of bore myself do, yeah people do enjoy them all right let's wrap up today's uh if you are watching or now or later thumbs up button yeah helps me and the channel out shows that people are still enjoying these which i know they are join in with a uh, hashtag morning readies uh, you can do stories as well do your posts share where you're watching from say of the day all that good stuff and with that uh if we just um show this again the message is simple buy mm -hmm. sell repeat 
See you tomorrow morning. See you, Peter. Okay. And broadcast.